Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a Saturn retrograde reading for my dearest Taurus. So Saturn um, is retrograding on May 23rd and over the next four and a half months we're set to experience an intensification of karmic lessons and dealing with the past. <laughs> Sounds like fun, right? So sometimes our current situation or challenge is kept on a loop because of unresolved past issues and karma. So guys, in essence, karma is the re-experiencing of an unhealed trauma over and over again. Abandonment fears, running cycles, and separation issues are nearly almost always rooted in childhood or past life karma. These negative energy blocks could be holding you back from twin flame union or calling in or reuniting with your true soulmate or divine counterpart. Running or separation cycles are a clear indication of karma at work. So when we experience repeating cycles, we need to look at the deeper causes to end running and separation permanently. So whether you're currently dealing with a karmic soulmate which many of us have been led to believe are bad or that we need to stay away from them. Um, the truth is we need them to heal and resolve karma if we ever want to come into union with our divine counterparts. So some of you guys may be experiencing karma or on a karmic loop with your twin flame, okay? And some of you may be dealing with a karmic partner. Um, but this reading is going to look at what's happening now, like the overall energy, what's going on how you can move through it with grace and ease, what you're learning, um, what karma, what you're leaving behind, what's on its way in, and what's your medicine for the moment. Um, as many of you guys may know, I'm a, a Reiki master and I'm a healer. Um, so at the end of the reading, I am going to do a, a small healing activation incantation. Um, for those of you that would like to uh, to stick that out, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's see what's going on for my dearest Taurus. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading if you would like one. If you like the cards I'm using, I also have them listed in order of appearance. And don't forget to ring that notification bell and leave a comment if you feel called to do so. So let's go ahead and see what's happening right now. The Fool in Reverse. Okay, so you could be dealing with somebody, it could be an Aries or an Aquarius, you could be feeling foolish, you could be dealing with somebody who isn't quite as spiritually evolved as yourself, okay? How you can move through it with grace and ease, okay? So there's a lack of stability, um, but I'm also getting, I feel like many of my Taurus out there, you guys are dealing with a karmic partner, or there's certain karma between you and your, your divine counterpart, but somebody's not quite ready for, for union, for coming together, to offer something stable. So you're being asked to like wait. You're being asked to hold out for what you know is to be true. Some of you guys, I'm getting, this is really interesting, but I'm getting that you may be in separation from your twin. You and you or your person are dealing with a karmic. But you're starting to see that this karmic situation is foolish or you're feeling foolish for that. Again, it could be you, it could be your person, Taurus. What you're learning. Wow. Endings, painful endings. What's currently leaving the Ace of Cups. What's on its way in the Four of Pentacles. Mm. Some of my Taurus, now again, feel free to swap the energies, but I feel like some of you, it's like, you're feeling like you missed an opportunity in love. And I feel like it could also be your person. So if like you or your person, I feel like you, many of you guys have met your twin or your divine counterpart and you're in separation. And one of you is, or both of you, I don't, I don't know exactly because it's kind of swapping the energies on me are dealing with a karmic. Okay. And you feel like you've missed an opportunity or they feel like they've missed an opportunity with you. So what's on its way in, somebody's going to open up. 
somebody was afraid of commitment here, Taurus, and I feel like it was your person. I feel like they're feeling really, really stupid for the way that they treated you, and they feel like they've missed an opportunity because you really, truly, this is truly your, your person. And we get, what's the medicine for the moment? Wow, temperance energy. Sagittarius energy coming through really strong. Oh my goodness. So Taurus, this is what I'm getting. Sorry it took me a minute to get to this, but I'm seeing the story play out really, really, very clearly. Somebody feels really foolish because they didn't offer you a commitment or they didn't or weren't able to recognize that you were really, truly their divine counterpart and their twin. So there's been a very difficult ending or betrayal. You were meant to experience this. Um, what is leaving? There is a missed or it feels like a missed opportunity in love, but you might be pulling your energy back. You might've been holding back because this person, they were, they were acting foolish. They weren't, they haven't quite ascended to your level, Taurus. They're starting to see that. They know that they have to make some big changes. You might've been dealing with distorted masculine energy, but the medicine at the moment is medicine, right? It's healing. It's, um, it's divine timing, it's patience, it's working on yourself. You're calling in true love. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify, Taurus. This is very, very, like the, the and, and with the Knight of Wands, somebody wants to come rushing towards you. They want to heal this situation. But some of my Taurus out there, you're not going to heal this. So you know that we only have one twin, but we have many soulmates. And, you know, I don't like to glamorize the twin flame journey because it's not always the person that we end up with. Okay, and it's not always our life partner. I feel like you have that choice. You know, some of you guys, this has been a, a deep betrayal. Okay, and they have missed an opportunity with you. Um, but I do also feel like this person wants to work things out. So it's going to be different. They're, they want to rush towards you, but it's also, they've made a decision here. Oh my goodness. Some of you guys, they're leaving behind. They might've been dealing with a romantic rival, this queen of cups, somebody who's really jealous and holding on to them. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Let's go. Let's clarify. So what's happening right now? We have the fool in reverse. Somebody's feeling really foolish. And Taurus, I feel like it's your person. I really do. They're recognizing what they lost. Many of you guys, you're not in communication with this person. And some of them, they might have felt on top of the world because they had a lot of options. Or, um, you know, or they treated you like an option or they chose this other person. For some of you, you had a breakup. They didn't leave you for a third party, but they moved on really quickly with somebody else. But I think you have them blocked, Taurus, because I think this was such a painful ending and you're holding out for the one and you're like, you know what? I don't think you guys jumped back in it with somebody else. I think you decided to work on yourself. They're seeing that. They're not feeling confident at all. Okay, they can't hold back either. I do feel like if you have them blocked or you're not in communication, they're either trying to contact you through friends or like fake media accounts or something like this because this really truly, I feel, is your person. So how you can move through it. Some of you guys, you just up and left. Yeah, oh my goodness. Yeah, some of you guys, you, you've, you've moved out or you're getting rid of all of their stuff is what I'm getting. I think also you're giving them a taste of their own medicine, but it's not about being manipulative. It's not about being spiteful, but you're holding back because I feel like you didn't. You did all the work before and this person, again, they didn't offer you the loyalty and you've changed your course and because you're valuing yourself more than anything and you're holding out for the one, you're like, you know what? I'm not going to just jump in it with somebody else. I think you're giving yourself time to heal. I think you have options. I feel like your person probably did jump in it with somebody else or moved on or they're doing things like dating people or, you know, drinking with friends and doing all this sort of silly stuff. Like they're under the influence. They're not doing the work. And you're the complete opposite. But what you're doing is you're creating stability for yourself by not doing, by changing what you were doing with this person, if that makes sense. You're no longer willing to put in this time and this effort. I think this is like the straw that broke this, the camel's back. All right, and what you're learning is about this painful ending. The world, but there's unfinished business between you guys. Yep, you're seeing things differently. Taurus, you guys are doing the spiritual work. Your person isn't, or they haven't been until now. And again, I feel like they, I feel like they, whatever, whatever your situation, they think they've missed an opportunity in love. It could be that you do too, 
but I feel like you're coming to terms with it. You're seeing things differently. You know that there's a karmic cycle that needs to come to an end and you need to stop being in the same situation, whether it's about calling in the same type of person or whether it's, um, you know, doing, it's like, it's like not, you're doing something differently. And many of you guys, you're focusing on your house, your home, your career, your spirituality. You are seeing this person differently in a different light. You might have, you might have had your rose colored glasses on, or you might have felt like you would never feel like you would be the one that was in, in control or in power. And you do because you're seeing things differently, that there's karma that needs to be healed and cleared. This person has to do the work. You can't do it for them. And I feel like you're turning away. And some of you may be open to hearing what this person says, but they have got to come at you correct. Okay. What's currently leaving this Ace of Cups? I think you're pulling your love back. Wow. Wow. This is this. We get double confirmation of the four of wands. You are dealing with your twin flame here, Taurus. You are. And I feel like they feel so foolish for not telling you how they feel, for not treating you better. But this, you're understanding, you're seeing things differently because you've pulled back and you've gone through an enlightenment period. You know that there's still work to do, but you know that this person has to go through their own. It's like almost like tough love. This person is probably going to try to come back in, but they might come back in prematurely. And with this page of cups, they're going to give you a gift or make you an offering. But what you really truly want here is stability. And I think they had it with you. I think they had it with you. And now they're feeling really, really foolish. They're recognizing, you know what they're losing? They're losing their person, Taurus. Oh my goodness. And so this person, they're coming back in. They want to heal things. But I think you're also, you're in this energy of I'm no longer willing to deal with somebody who's not doing their inner work. Somebody who's not offering me love and support, stability. Some of you guys, you could have a family with this person. Some of you guys, you talked about having children with this person. So what's on its way in? This person wants to collaborate. Yeah, they're seeing. I mean, I just keep getting the same message here, Taurus. What they're going to be telling you, they want to work on things that they're going to change because what they're seeing is that they didn't treat you like the empress that you are. Male, male or female, doesn't matter. That's your energy. They're seeing you're turning away from them, Taurus, and you're activating the cord between you guys. Some of you guys, there was somebody else involved, but I feel like, I mean, whether it was like during your relationship or right after, and they are just looking back and they're seeing that they never gave themselves the time to do the inner work or to reflect on what needed to change or what they needed to heal, regardless if they're going to be with you or not. And they are feeling really foolish and their confidence is really low. So your medicine here is the temperance. You're, you're divinely guided and supported throughout this journey. But you are seeing things clearly, Taurus. Now really quickly, we have Aries and Leo, Aquarius. Pisces energy, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. You could be dealing with another Taurus. Libra and Sag coming through really strong. So your medicine, you're getting this major crown chakra, third eye activation. You guys are really working on your healing. This is what I'm seeing. You're holding your energy back. You know that you're not gonna, and it's, if you even if you are seeing somebody else, I'm not, if you you know, moved on with somebody else. I'm not knocking that, but many of my Taurus, you guys haven't moved on right away. Okay. And because you, you sat down to do your inner work because this is your twin flame, you know that, but you also know that you couldn't keep going in the direction you were going, that you needed to release them so that they could learn the lesson. And then also for you to do some healing. Look at that twin flame energy and the knight of wands. So double confirmation of the knight of wands eight of cups. This person's coming back in Taurus. You're going to decide because some of you guys, again, I don't like to glamorize the twin flame journey. Some of you guys, you're doing this inner healing work and you're trusting your inner guidance and karma is being balanced out. And if this person has cut one foot in the door and one foot out, you're not having it. And at least you're not having it right now. And you're going to turn your back on this person and you're seeing them differently. You're seeing them as foolish. You're seeing them as having unresolved issues with self-esteem, 
or things that go back to their childhood. And it's not about knocking them down or tearing them apart, but this person wants to come rushing back in because they've made a decision. Most likely they're leaving a romantic rival behind. Okay, they wanna put in the work, but if they're still in this confused energy, if they're still, you know, I feel like they did something very childish. They might have, they might have been like tried to put you down. Um, they might have blocked you, ignored you when you try. I feel like you you really took a mature approach to this situation, and it's just like they blocked you, or they're, they're it's just you're seeing them in a different light, and you realize you kind of have to walk away for now, Taurus. But what also, I mean, your medicine right now is that karma is going to be balanced out. Your person is most likely experiencing karma, especially if they left you for somebody else. I feel like that Queen of Cups is somebody who's really breathing down their neck. Male or female doesn't matter. Somebody who's very jealous. Somebody who might be spending a lot of their money. Somebody who is like throwing temper tantrums. Somebody who's kind of vindictive and emotionally manipulative is what I'm getting. And they're like, oh my God, they want to come rushing back towards you. But Taurus, you're not going to have it unless they're coming at you correct I know I was a distraction from your pain okay I know that I crossed the line with you yeah they did they absolutely did I feel like I know I was a distraction from your pain this is that third party influence it's that other person that queen of cups I'm picking up on a romantic rival they know it but but they're still holding on I think this person knows that you're their person and they are full of regret. I couldn't let you get close to me. I feel like this is you now, Taurus. I feel like you're like, you know there's unresolved business between you guys, but this ending, it's like you don't trust this person right now. It may be too soon. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Yeah, Taurus, you guys are like bossing up in a really big way. You're showing this person a side of you. I think even you are surprised because it's like you would have done anything and everything for this person before but it, they crossed a line and you're you're, you're like you know I, i'm sorry i need to heal the universe is going to bring me happiness and if you've got one foot in and one foot out the door i'm done i'm gone Oof. because you, there is someone else you do have options here Okay, the Shekinah, interesting. So we get, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance the sacred rhythm of light. So you guys are all about peace. You're trusting your intuition. And then we get Krishna, devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Yeah, wow. You're unleashing your spiritual gifts. Some of you guys are becoming healers with the temperance card or you're, you know, you're working with your angels and your guides. You're definitely on this like insane spiritual journey right now, Taurus. And you don't have time for like low, lower vibrational 3D energy. And I feel like you have gone through a major ascension that this, even if this is your twin, you're not willing to put up with somebody who's in and out. And I think you're even surprising yourself. You want commitment. You want somebody who is devoted. So you're trusting your spiritual guidance. You're trusting in the universe, surrendering to it. Your commitment to your path is being recognized and to healing. And so that's like spirit coming through here and saying, Taurus, you, you will be loved. You will be getting what you truly deserve, whether that's another soulmate or whether that's with your twin. If they're, But this is what they need to up-level. And I feel like for many of you guys... This person, they haven't up-leveled yet, or they kind of want to just come rushing back in because they're experiencing karma or because you've blocked them. Definitely that cord has been activated. They want to come back in. You're going to decide whether or not it's time. And, and your angels and your guides are also going to be helping you and protecting you because it may not be time because this is what's leaving. You know, this person is like this childish energy. Maybe they come back around and say, I'm sorry, but unless they come in as your emperor, or empress because I see they weren't treating you that way and they're seeing that now sacred ecosystem ascended master kutumi and moss agate okay so Taurus you guys being an earth sign it's really important that you guys do some grounding work
because I think some of you guys, even though a part of you is like, yes, I want this person, I want them back. You know that if you take them back too soon, you're just going to continue to repeat that karma. And this is what Saturn in retrograde is really highlighting for us. Okay. So um, there is, I'm reading from, this is Alana Fairchild's Crystal Mandala Oracle. There is an exquisite intelligence to divine design, a way for every aspect of every being to be made to serve the great plan of love. There is a story of a cracked pot, which was used to carry water from the fountain to the master's table. Because of the crack, it leaked water along the pathway. Arriving at the master's house only partially full, while another pot, without a crack, was able to hold its full complement of water for the household. The cracked pot wondered if it was not good enough if it was not a good enough pot. One day the water carrier felt compassion for the cracked pot and asked why it seemed sad. When the water carrier realized the pot felt that it was that its flaws were bad, especially compared to the undamaged perfect pot, he asked the cracked pot to look down at the path where it leaked water each day. What do you see? asked the water carrier of the cracked pot. I see flowers, replied the cracked pot. Yes, that is right, the water carrier said. Those flowers have sprouted along the path because you have been watering them. Each day they become an offering of beauty and grace upon the master's table. The cracked pot felt very happy to hear this and realized that what it thought was imperfection was actually just a beautiful way to serve. This story teaches us something of the sacred ecosystem. In the sacred e ecosystem, everything that is, even the things we might initially write off as unwanted or shameful, serves the greatest good. So even this ending, what you have learned, is serving the greatest good because there is redemption here, Taurus. You will be getting this a beautiful gift of healing. When we simply are who we are, the ecosystem thrives. It doesn't always make sense, but it's true. This is why you never need to judge yourself or another. The divine is ingenious in its creative design of all beings, including you. All things serve. Could light be more beautiful or desired than when it is yearned for, the, for to break through the dark night? All things have a sacred purpose, and so does this journey that you're on with this person. Okay, Taurus, so if this is where we part, I hope you found clarity and guidance in these messages. Thank you for allowing me to be on this journey and sticking it out with me. So for those of you who would like to heal, uh, sorry, would like to hear um, the healing prayer and incantation, I'd just like you to take a moment, focus on the candle. You can either repeat after me or you can, um, or silently in your head. And I'd like you just to take a moment, sit up straight, take a deep breath. I choose of my own free will through this and any lifetime and through all layers of my entire being to release all fears of abandonment, being isolated socially, being rejected or betrayed by my tribe, and not feeling I really belong to a sacred home and unconditionally loving family. I release all such wounds, memories, and associated belief systems now. I now choose to have a place, a purpose, and a presence that contributes to the greater good. I trust the universe completely to guide me into the sacred ecosystem within which I can best fulfill my divine potential and serve love now. Through divine grace and unconditional love, so be it. May divine love bring harmony, peace, divine order, and creative loving intelligence to all sacred ecosystems. May all living beings feel at home in their place in the greater divine scheme of life. Through divine compassion and in service to the great divine plan of loving of love unfolding, so be it. I express my purpose, passion, and presence with perfection within the sacred ecosystem I serve. Wow. Okay, Taurus. I'm going to leave it there, sending you lots of love and light. Take care.